This is what we are in for tonight. Deliverance from the power of delay. We don't want delay. If you have not been delayed in any aspect of life, you will not understand. You will not value this thing. You will not respect this topic. You will not understand this topic until you experience it. You know, sometimes when people are talking about what they've gone through and what they are going through, it's like a story to you. But when you have the experience, you know it's not a story. It's a life experience. So that is why testimony is always heavier in the mouth of the giver than the ears of the hearers. Testimony, usually heavy and stronger in the mouth of the giver than the hearers. Because the hearers are just hearing it. But the giver felt it. He experienced it. He knew what he went through. The giver knew what he went through, what she, she or he went through. So that is why sometimes when some people carry a microphone, they want to testify. They want you to hand over the microphone for them so they can, they can, they can exercise their, their, in fact, everything they want to pour out. That is why they appreciate it so much. And I pray today, whatever you have gone through, it will end up in testimony. You are coming up a testifier. In the name of Jesus. So delay is evil. So that is why we are angry with delay. And we are fighting delay. Fight it. Because what we don't fight may end up fighting you. And what is evil fighting you? You have to fight harder to get over it. Fight harder to get over it. And we need to fight out of certain situations in life. Fight out of it. Where are you? Where did they keep you? Fight out of it. Don't stay there and say, well, well that is how God wants. No! Not everything that goes wrong is how God wants. God is known to be a good God. So don't just settle for less. Don't settle at, maybe that is how God wants. No! At least try your best to understand and satisfy your conscience and know that you have done your part. Praise the Lord. So that's why we came out tonight to confront the power of delay, the spirit of delay in this three days campy program that begins today and it will be until Friday night by His grace. And we all live here on Saturday morning free, completely free from delay so that we can experience all around speed in the name of Jesus. Deliverance from the power of delay. Do you know that delay has power? It has power. That is why it's keeping people. If it, is, it does not have power, how does it keep people in one place? You see somebody being delayed in one place for and be counting months, counting years on top of it. Because delay has power. And that is why when we are dealing with delay, we are high in spirit. We are aggressive. We are angry. We don't joke. Everything in us pray against it. Everything in us fight it because it has power. Delay is a force. It's a force. Delay is a spirit that keeps people down in the seat of murmuring and complaining. When you see someone that is going through delay, two things are easily identified in the life of that person. What and what? Murmuring and complaining. you will end up becoming a murmurer. You will end up becoming a complainer. If you don't deal with it, if the leg stays too long, it might even lead to denial. If you don't react, if you don't attack it, if you don't oppose it, if you don't contend with it. Because the spirit that keeps people on the seat, they are sitting down on what? On the seat of murmuring and complaining. Murmuring and murmuring and complaining and complaining. Today, I pray for everyone here who has been sitting with delay. I know delay has provided a seat for. Today, get out from the seat of delay. Come on, 
out of delay. Anyone that has been living with delay today, I command delay to vacate. Delay, vacate. Delay, vacate. Delay, vacate. Delay, vacate. Delay, vacate. Sometimes they can delay you on the delay things for you. It's in two ways. Some people, they delay them. And some, they delay things. They leave you to be going up and down. But what you are expecting, they hold it down. It's not coming. And you are moving up and down, searching for it, looking for it. So you can be held with delay or your expectation held with delay. Today, I pray for us under this anointing. Either it is you that they are holding delayed or they are holding your expectations delayed. I command both you and your expectation be set free. We and our expectations be set free. Jump up and shout I am free from delay. Shout I command my expectation to be free from delay. Yes, have your seat. We are here running deliverance for ourselves and also to what we are expecting. Sometimes it might not be you needed deliverance, but it might be what you are expecting that is needed deliverance. Praise the Lord. You know, when they were delaying Daniel, Daniel was in his room, kneeling down, praying. Nothing was wrong with him, but what he was expecting was under serious attack. What he was expecting was facing challenges. But himself was down kneeling, praying. But one thing is sure, as it's affecting what you are expecting, it's actually affecting you. Because when what you are expecting is not coming, you will be happy. So either they are holding you or they are holding what you are expecting, it is all going on the same lane. It's just that it has different names. But the same lane, today I pray, both us and our expectations, we are free from delay. In the name of Jesus, I command deliverance upon each and every one of us. Our family members, any member of our family that has been delayed, kept in the same level for years, I call for deliverance upon them in Jesus' name. And anything that concerns us, that belongs to our business, careers, and whatever it is that has been delayed, I command deliverance upon them now. In the name of Jesus. So what is delay? Delay is humiliating again. Delay can be humiliating. When you are having delay, you're so humiliated. Delay is frustrating. Hmm. Delay is depressing. Delay is painful and delay is annoying. So everything about delay is not good. It's not enticing. It's not a happy thing. Something that can humiliate you. Is something that needs to be casted out. Something that can frustrate you should not be kept with you anymore. Things that are depressing you should be vacated from your life. And things that are painful should be dislodged. The one that is annoying should be chased away. Today I pray every element of delay, traces of delay in our lives and family, I command it to be completely erased in the name of Jesus. Can somebody shout delay go? Can you shout delay? I send you back in the name of Jesus. Delay is one of the weapons that the devil uses to frustrate lives and destiny. There are some people with golden destiny, beautiful destiny, but they have been delayed. Some destinies have been delayed. Destiny has been delayed. And you are seeing, you see it, you know you have it, you know what it is. But it's not happening, it's not working out because the destiny is being delayed. Today, all the delayed destiny, I command it to be released to move. Rise up first, everybody, rise up for that one. Delayed destiny, be released to move. Release delayed destinies, be released to move. Delayed destinies. Be released to move. Delayed destinies. Be released to move. Delayed destinies. Be released to move. Delayed family. Be released to move. Delayed family. Be released to move. Delayed family. Be released to move. Delayed 
expectations be released to move. Anyone that is 